Alright, they can have it. They can have it. There's people dropping in. And then my foolish boy Tom Fuller here back with some foolishness on Subnautica on a uh, particularly white day. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of snow outside. I'm not, I'm not. Of course, why we got a robe on, we all snuggly, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good? You doing great? Hey, look here. Go here, go get your popcorn, go get the drinks. Go get some beverages, refreshments, little knickknacks, patty wax. Give every dog a bone, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you gotta do. Cause this is the last episode of my favorite uh, survival game of all time. And it's, uh, it's been a great, fun journey to come back into it. I'll probably play it again sometime in the future. Not near future, but... This is just one of those games, to me, it's just timeless, and it's just a fun, fun experience, a fun adventure to play. That being said, though, you already know this one's going to be just a tad bit long. I mean, like most of the videos in the series. Whew, excuse me. I just had some breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Have me a little breakfast rattle right for a toast stick, man. Not crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'll be in there with you. Anyway, uh, <coughs> um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. You know, we're going to wrap the story up, figure out how to save ourselves, figure out how to get off this planet. And if you do have fun while watching it or you've enjoyed the series so far whether you're tuning in now or tuning in to the future you binge watch it hey man drop a like leave a comment down below come subscribe come join the family come join the game we're still growing we're still showing out all 22 baby all all up all 22 baby all up without further ado here you go here you go 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 on Oh my God! Is this it? Oh, it is. God, Jesus. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Mind your business, dude. All right. Ah, don't want to come down here and draw attention to myself. Very good to know. Very, very good to know. Alright, I should not be on his radar. He should be. I mean. Uh, very easy. Oh. oh, oh, it's right here. Why is he? You're usually never so close to this. All right, we're we're just gonna park right here. You're gonna be cool. You're gonna sit here and charge. Benjamin. And everything should be great. Okay, yeah. Alright. Well, 
Waste no time. Get in, 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 get in. I'm getting inside and you can't do nothing. Nerd, nerd, nerd. Jesus Christ. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg catching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. I need two? God. Flame it. But this is what I was talking. Wait, wait, wait! Come back. This is what I talk about. This. But I need to go eat, and drink anyway. This one. I literally could sit here for hours and just have fun. Oh no! Just the one little piece. Because once you're finished with it, you step back and boom. It synthesizes another the dep ion deposit. Which is crazy to have, I, I would assume, an infinite supply. You know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go stealth. An infinite supply of ion energy like that, like that's. <laughs> That's crazy. You don't notice me? I notice you. Well, you did notice me. It's a nice picture. Oh, you was, you was trying to F me up. Please don't mess with Tonto. Please don't mess with Tonto. All right, it's good. Almost adorable. Let's start with some lore, baby. Ancient Blade. An ancient earth blade dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. The evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in surreptitious Surreptitious study of less developed species. So like researchers. Strange carbon. That's literally yin and yang, bro. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the old earth yin yang symbol. Two completely theories may explain the similarity. One, aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the development of ancient China Chinese philosophy. The concept of yin and yang is universal since yin and yang describe the fundamental in interdependency of seemingly opposing opposite forces may be necessary essential understanding of some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. The tapering of two circles union into opposed and infinitesimally small points the finite is one logical way to represent this understanding. It may have been developed independently by species other than humans. I mean, it wouldn't shock me. I mean, Chinese people are like, they're smart. I feel like the, the Chinese Asian brains are smartest by far. And it's not even close on this planet. Could be that they had influence. Yeah. 
The artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines, spiraling upwards towards the worn blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's homeworld, a building of religious import, or even gravitational pull of their home solar system. So like a beacon? If I'm reading that right. Oh, it's Captain America's shields. Are you, are you shooting fireballs at the building? Dude, stop, dude. I'm just trying to learn stuff, dude. I'm trying to save your planet. Oh, holographic projector. So this device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as communication relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to remote location. They do not appear to be any other devices in range. It's like Star Wars. A rudimentary tablet. This device sh shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities. Although its structure is rather less complex, it may have served a similar purpose granting security access to storing relevant data and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. So like this iPad generation like one or something. That's crazy. Billy, you see this shit? It's crazy, dog. It's crazy. What is it? Yeah, is that an egg? What kind of egg is that? Alien building block. The rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there's some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is waiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of the aliens' technology or even the aliens themselves. So is this like a... Uh, uh, like what if there's like... This is like a... Uh, like a whole... I wouldn't say a structure as big as this, but what if this is like a whole building inside of this and it just activates, throw it on the ground and just... Bang! Crescent artifacts, boomerang, tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546b. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. <laughs> Beyond tracking and broadcasting this location, the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved. Oh, dang. I wish I could have. I would love to learn more about the ancient Leviathans. Keep them dead. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my god, can you scan? Organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. That's crazy. This is how you clear a party. If like, yo, party's over, man, we ain't going nowhere. I, right, I'm going to get the cube. Like some people run away, some people don't, cause they don't know what the cube mean. What the f? Okay, but you just throw the cube down and just poof, everybody's gone. Nanobots. Scans show some form of advanced nanobots inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation and it's not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. I don't see nothing in there. Y'all lying. Translation device. Oh, that's fire. This device stores linguistic data from over a 
thousand different languages. This core of the device may allow alien texts to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages and the term CHBC Live appears many times in the device data. The import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. Um, so basically, it would only translate English to me, which that's fine. I'm going to just go ahead and open this door. Like if I was talking to somebody else, it wouldn't, like if I speak back to them, they're not going to understand me, but at least I understand them, I guess. Now remember these, these are exactly, uh, not exactly what you think, but these are the portals you have to activate on this side and these activate to the portals we found uh, out and about. Or transporters or phase gates or whatever you want to call them. What do you, I'm not supposed to be able to see you But I'm gonna just go ahead and activate these and then I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. Wow. Now well appears to be a biological archive storing more than forty indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. What is I don't remember which that one is. That's amp eel. Uh, I don't remember what that one is. I, I don't remember what that one is, even though I just hashed it. Oh, sea dragon. I would crack this and take this so fast. Oh, reef back. Oh, I was like, what, what happened? Why is my game breaking? See if we're the research data. Golly. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate this species. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data in case despite its size, the species feeds entirely on microorganisms it filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. It's like whales. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that like other species on the planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its foods, and it will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. It will remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Health. Comparative analysis of... An, 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 <laughs> Comparative analysis of size and metabolic metabolic rates indicate the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive ex internal and external scar tissue suggests it has lived well in excess of the peak lifespan for its species. Assessment: While healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a carrier, it is unlikely any research subjects serve quarantine procedures. Yeah, see emperor's here. If you didn't know, if you wasn't catching on, the one species specimen that survived the uh, catastrophic underground laboratory that was headbutted um, was the Sea Emperor. And uh, sh apparently, like I said, the Enzyme 42 in the, the digestive tract where the stomach was a means for a cure but yet for some reason is it advanced and as smart as these aliens are or these precursors whatever you want to call them they could not figure out how to properly formulate a cure 
which ultimately caused them to die or go extinct before they can find it anyway this is another gate so I'll be back to when there's something interesting Ooh, I forgot about this I was wondering where it's at. I thought this was where the power plant was, but PDA ventilation data. control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled, independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside of the facility, while micro while microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher, oxygen to deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. What does it mean? What does it all mean? Well, that's why we're gonna scan it and find out. Is that a peeper? Nah, there are peepers in there. No, oh, wait, we're gonna read that in a second. I just wanna make sure I scan everything. Fuck, commit. I'm going down somewhere. Now, this base is unstable as far as like actual game development because I. I don't remember where. But I remember I fell through somewhere and I incidentally clipped through. How did I get down there? Is it the other way? Yeah. I accidentally clipped through like a ceiling and I was just stuck in the wall and I lost my prime suit. It was insane. <laughs> Cause it was just stuck in the wall. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh la la. Is there anything down here? I mean, clearly these these precursors were definitely doing everything they could to try to figure out. But I mean, if all the damage they've already done, and why they thought it was a great idea to take the eggs from a sea dragon leviathan is beyond me, and there would be no consequences. Like, I would think as advanced as they are, they would set up kind of some kind of defense system. Or maybe they just thought, oh, well, this creature is too dumb to find us. And it's like, uh, no, it's a mother. They have maternal instincts. They will find a way. They will find you, bro. <laughs> All right, bop, 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 close all that. Advanced theories. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. The, outfly, the outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42, which data suggests inhibits the bacteria. Specimens' stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they would have purged the contents before entering the pipes. Assessment. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme B of the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial outbreak. Yep. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no signs of distress. The specimen scan have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are showing, beginning to show signs of infection. So basically, I guess they came across peepers that um, was carrying the enzyme 42, which is the means for a cure and they built these ventil this ventilation uh, system, which is massive because we saw the vents on the surface. You know, in some of my previous episodes, we've come across some vents. 
And that's, they all lead to here. But there's vents like all over this planet. Presumably, it's what it said. But that means the peepers are carrying the Enzyme 42s, possibly be eaten by these predators. And, you know, in turn, they're basically eating part of the cure. And, you know, the how the food chain goes, it's like, that's how life is thriving just off of these peepers alone. But, of course, cures don't work the same with 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 each organism I, I mean i guess with these these precursors that they were missing some main ingredient which they couldn't figure out to help their own survive and that was the ultimate downfall of their civilization According to translated data laws, an indigenous Leviathan species were found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Corar bacterial infection and other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life forms and environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via the on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the insight into the vaccine had been unsuccessful. That's basically what I was. One of the I mean, that's basically what I just said. Um, the Emperor Leviathan that's here that uh, carries the enzyme forty two. They were doing everything to study it and. and try to, to activate enzyme 42 that it's able to work for them and they just could not figure it out it is as advanced as they seem to be which is crazy and i know the reason why and it's kind of yeah poor little guy Found preserved in this play case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiology. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests an organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples has been taken from the digestive tract. Now, it appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacteria from enzyme producing in the specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Yeah, because you kept ripping them out of their eggs because they weren't hatching. So you guys were trying to force hatch them by basically, I'm going to run and go get some water while I'm jibber jabbering. But basically rip them out of their uh, eggs to try to force them to hatch so you guys can, I'm talking. to try to uh, synthesize a cure and ultimately that was your biggest downfall because if, if you bet it, it's like well why didn't they just use the actual sea dragon leviathan emperor and it was uh, it's not as potent it's more potent in the youth and that's what they were going for because they were like, oh, well, the potency of the one enzyme 42 in the adult is, is just not enough. For, I'm here for water. What am I doing? It's not enough to, to stop. For them to get a cure. Or to make up a cure. So they thought, oh, well, hey, what about the young? Didn't have to spike up the creepy music as soon as I said young. And ultimately, like I said, it led to 
them hitting another wall in progress and finding a cure. Well, I said earlier, they have a crucial device in here that could have helped them along the way, but I feel like it was one of those things. It's like sometimes, you know, you hear the phrase, you're too smart for your own good, but that's literally pretty much what it was. Like this device, this translator, was exactly what they needed, and you're you're we're about to find out why. It was literally one device left that they could have used. I don't. Ooh, I missed. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we're in here. Wait a minute. Uh, where's the platform? Not you. There's a... It's a platform I'm supposed to be landing on. Did that change? Is there no longer a platform? Are you still loading in? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh God. It wasn't loaded in yet. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, so she, Mama Imp, is definitely kin to the Sea Dragon out there. She's just the more docile version. Coming in hot, Imp! Boy! Unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. I'm sure it has to do with uh, Mama Imp over here. Where are we going? Oh. Going up here? I don't remember where you want me to stay in the trigger your stuff. I know down there was part of it, but uh. Do I need to do something? Oh, right, 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 right. I remember what I need to do. Excuse me. My young need to hatch. To play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. <laughs> Emperor, use hyper beam <laughs> or water pulse. Scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Linda, you're a little light there. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. So that is the mission to get the hatching enzymes and to uh, basically get the hatch the young because they couldn't get the uh, precursors knew that the enzyme 42 in the young was more potent and it was basically what they were missing but that's what I meant when I said the translator maybe could have worked. I don't know if it worked between uh, that alien species and Emperor Leviathan's, but it could have been worth a try because the only thing it was they could not understand her when they were trying to tell, when she was trying to tell them like, hey, you're killing my young. That's not how you need to do it. If you want to you know, exacerbate the process of them hatching. There is a way to do it that is non-lethal to them and it can get you what you want. But I have it and they don't because they suck, they're losers and they're nerds. You said a lot, Linda. You, everything's just loaded in weird. <laughs> hatching enzymes, emperor specimen eggs are attached to some form of incubator in a normal life cycle seems like the sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallow waters where different organic materials and soil would have triggered a hatching response the incubator suggests the aliens have resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would simulate the eggs natural hatching environment but were able to discover the formula she had the formula with extensive information on sea emperors themselves it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial enhancing enzyme using indigenous ingredients however the only surviving source of that information may be the emperor or sea emperor herself which she gave me right right sea emperor's eggs um, i'll just let you guys read that if you want to it is likely that the ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary silly from the ideal survived kitchens of the parent yeah uh, did she give it to me? Do I have to leave and then you give it to me? Is that how it works? I don't remember. Huh. Wow, the way you're just floating around there. I don't... Did it not activate? So I don't know what's going on. Something is tripping. Insert hatching insides. No, I don't need to insert. I need to... Yes, I know you're ready for me to hatch the young. I don't have them yet. Oh, I'm retarded. Imp, I know. I know. I forgot. You, you blew. You used hydro pump and blew this off the gate. I know where this one goes. This one goes to the containment platform. And honestly, every. Uh, With the passage you've ah, opened, yes. my young can leave this oh, place. Hi. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Thanks. There we go. Hatching enzymes. I stalk sea crown fungal bull bush and a ghost weed. All of these uh, I know where to find. 
Sea Emperor's Life Cycle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the Sea Emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallow waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse populations, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once in a lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it's impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet and this would have had catastrophic effects on the emperor's food supply and survival rate. A symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely develop as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean and a rough perimeter around the emperor's location. So you like Aquaman. You talk to fish, keeping them safe and stuff. But that's good. That's great. Aquarium arts. I didn't know I could scan this. Scans indicate this arch was left inactive when the facility was abandoned. It's likely served as an access point to the surface of the planet. It is much too small for the emperors to pass through, but would accommodate smaller life forms. Which is what I need. Well, I left this open because that is how the babies get out. Alright, Ip. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now, I do remember. There is. I don't know if they changed it. There is. A uh, little. Cave like area. Somewhere in this habitat that houses one of the first ingredients I can find. The sea crown, yes. One piece down. The sea crown is actually one of the most difficult ones to find uh, out of all of them. And it kind of sucks that it's the only one that's down here. Gabe's feather, no. Um, I mean, that would be a little too easy, but the rogue cradle. I think that used to be one. Like, before they changed the ingredients. It's like there's so many sea crowds in here. It's, it's, life in this area it's is ridiculous. Outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. Yeah. But there is honestly one sea crown on the surface and it's in the bulb tree area right beside life pot. Ridiculous. And I didn't know there was one in there until I, like I read online, like somebody found that it was great. Can I scan you? No, but you are ginormous. Can I get a pick? Sweet pick. That's all. Just... Bam. I know you're waiting, mama. Uh, I'm gonna get it done. Don't worry. Now I could go through there. I could, could go to the surface quick, fast, and hurry. I really feel like leaving Cyclops down here. <sighs> and honestly, I mean, it makes sense now why there's four warp gates here and why there are, why they go to different biomes because those lead to exactly the locations you need to be to find the ingredients for the action exams. Damn it, I always do it on the wrong side. Jesus Christ, took you long enough? Okay. 
Okay, this is the Lost River one? The question is, can I quickly find a piece without having to deal with him? Also need something to drink and eat. So, oh, it's right there. It's right in front of me. It's right in front of me. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You don't. You don't. You don't want any of this. I promise you don't. I promise you don't. You don't. I'm, I'm not in the mood, buddy. I'm not in the mood, pal, old pal. Yeah, on about your business. Let's uh, grab a piece right here. Yeah. Oh god, 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 Okay, 300 meters down. Where is this one? All right, guys. Yep, yep. Just grabbing a piece of this bush here, and I am out, actually. I'm going to eat me a couple pieces. And uh, I'm going back in. I don't remember exactly where. Ah, yep, yeah, here. Cars, too. This is it though. I, it's just these two. There's no like extras floating around anywhere in this area. Look, you son of a. Oh. How close are you? Because that's part of the Aurora, and I know you're close to the Aurora. And fungal sample. Right? Nope. Is this... I thought this is how you get them. Hello? Ah, there it is. Fungal sample. I wasn't trying to land down here. I will fight you. I'm not scared. I don't fight everything else in this ocean. Oh! God, get out of here. No, 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 Get out of here. Get, get, I will grind you. No pretty Rick. If I'm not mistaken, it's on one of these floating boxes. Or not fly, there it is. I don't know if they're floating, suspended, or whatever. Hello, mama. It's your boy, Tom Bullery, baby, the Fulini, baby, you know. Kapoom! Nah, hey, little guys, you guys are adorable. Oh, man, I'm trying to scare you. That's right. Go to Baba. Gotta wait. One, two, three. Oh, you guys are late. Go to Mama, you guys. Get out of here. I swear to God, I'll kill you. That's right, guys. Go to Mama. There you go. Oh, guys. It's a Kodak moment.
It's so beautiful. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one right there. I think she's about to say something. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Thank you, Mama Imp. You lived a long, beautiful life, struggling to save the world, dealing with people that didn't understand you, and yet I am one of them. It was great to meet you. It's a shame our time was cut short. May you rest forever in peace, eternally. May you find comfort knowing your children are going to save the world. <laughs> She's more like a callous, you did. Ah, oh, I forgot my Cyclops. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh. So we just not gonna load in. I was just here. All right, there it is. There you guys are. Hey guys, this is important. Hi guys, you're so adorable. Yeah, I wish I could keep you. Oh. You get away from these precious angels. I will, I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. You guys, I'm not. Get out of here. Nah, don't go that way. There's a, there's a, there's a reaper that way. I prefer you not go that way. This. Enzyme 42, concentrated, fully potent. Uh, that would have looked better if I didn't have my gloves on. I forgot. Juvenile Emperor Specimen has produced a highly potent form of Enzyme 42, which should be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. The species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact that they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. The specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of positive attitude towards life indeed hope you guys live a full life now I will take off my gloves for one second we will scan ourselves self scan complete vital signs normal no remaining sign of bacterial infection well there are only two things left to do. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Mama M. So, oh. she's still holding on to the last gasps of life. 1600 years, it's a long time. You've cured me, Mama. 
now your babies are out there spewing out the cure. Ready to save the galaxy with me. Hi. I love you. Oh my god, too soon? God. All systems online. Why am I tilting? What is going on? I'm ready to get out of here. I'm just ready to go. Okay, about that LZ. Okay. My chips. My war. Get out of here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. 80% really I've been down here for a long time We're out Oh frustrations aside, I don't even remember what my thought pattern was but anyway We have two main missions left that is shutting off the quarantine enforcement platform so we don't get shot out of the sky when we make our rockets uh, seeming docile that's good great perfect and then building the rocket itself that way we can uh, blast our booties out of here and home sweet Sweet, sweet, sweet home. Benjamin. Now oh the God. real party begins, baby. The main thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna hop in the Boogaloo. We are going to fly over towards the uh, containment platform area. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Happy music star playing. <laughs> but we are gonna fly to We are going to fly towards the containment platform, turn off the gun the gum. Turn off the gun, build us a rocket. And we're gonna wrap up this story. All right, Boogaloo, let's go turn us off the gun. I think that's all I needed. Nah, I don't need to eat. I'll be all right. I'll be right back. And away we go. <laughs> that is big ass parking spot for Boogaloo. It's funny. And the moment of choose. Yeah, I'm back. It's been a while. Don't worry about it. Check me out. <laughs> Shut her down. I hate that sound, bro. I really do. Ah. Er, not that one. <laughs> I'll obviously go towards my. I'm, I don't know what I'd be thinking sometimes. First things first, have to build the launch platform, which is the titanium and computer ships led easy. Boom! My boys, 
We got another big one. And when I mean big, I mean so big, it had to pause the game for a sec because it's just like, God damn. And I actually, honestly, I could have been built this, but I always like saving it for the end. So to just have a big old platform. Wow, and then I remember. Good job, boys. So I just have a big platform just floating here. <laughs> Ah, you guys are fast. I need plasteel, copper, and lube. Easy. Plasteel, nicker, nicker, <laughs> nickel, arrow gel, and a wire kill. All right. And we'll be back. All right. Should be it for uh, the boosters. Seal, crystalline, kyanite, and ion. Glad I made one extra ion power cell. I grabbed a bunch of ion crystals. All right, if you say so. 360. Ah, uh, you are a lot bigger than I remember. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> remember. <laughs> And finally, the cockpit. Enamel plasteel cyclops shield generator. And a computer chip. Huh. Well, Tonto, I'm in here and I gotta need it, so. And boom. Last piece to the puzzle. Last shot for you, boys. It's been great. Stewie, Billy, and Bluey. I love you guys forever. Neptune One rocket online. Awesome. Yes, sir. Almost ready. Just have to say our goodbyes. Take one more good night's sleep. Say our goodbyes and that'll be it. Oh, base. It's been wonderful. You kept me safe from the dangers of the ocean. I will forever appreciate you. I'll come get you guys last. Lockers, thank you for holding my stuff as I go out on grand adventures. Plants, my garden crops, 
Thank you for growing, becoming strong, vital to my survival. Nuclear power plant. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't blow up when I'm gone now. <laughs> Keep calm, kitty poster. You're coming with me. Fish, I will let you go. I will not keep you trapped in here. Like some wild animals. You go be free. Make sure you live a whole life. Live it to the fullest. Because you never know. But the next adventurer will be here. <laughs> Room. You can't be comforted. Let me sleep. You can't be warm. I love you. Observatory. You help me observe and look out beyond the horizon to know that my venture was only just beginning. I didn't know the depths of the situation that I was in. I thank you for being here for me being one of my only friends. Huh? Boogaloo. <laughs> oh, Boogaloo. You got me to places quicker than any sea glide, cyclops, or prawn suit. You kept me protected with your perimeter defense. You kept me cozy, warm, even. I will miss you the most. Benny, baby, we got into some rough situations, but you put up a fight. You matched my heart, my energy, my strength, my perseverance. You pushed on just as much as I did, almost as if I was controlling you. But I believe you had your own will, your own fire beneath you. Shoot for the stars make sure you land on the sun I don't know what that means but uh, take it take it I love you <laughs> and finally Tonto you big beast you what can I say about our adventures <laughs> there is some it was hot Sometimes you was damaged. Sometimes it just seems like you couldn't push on anymore, but you did. I'm forever grateful for that. You will not be forgotten. For I carry your colors with me deep into space. All right, let's go get Philip Casey and everybody else. Get these guys out of here. If even if I have a space war, I don't think I do. <laughs> Some of you guys are huge. Get no, I don't. No, it's not one more free lunch before I leave. You grow to be big and majestic. That's what you do. Wait up. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to drop away. I heard. Philip. Get out of here. Lavar. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. Yeah, I forgot Philip follows you. Ow, 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 asshole. Jesus. All right, Casey. Ta, look at my boys. I should have been let you guys out. I feel kind of bad. 
So, oh, oh, you gotta get it. Ah, you got it. Yes. Hey, Casey. Guys do more than just treats. Come on, guys. Try to show up. You do more than treats. Uh, or not? Ah, where to go? Behind your eye socket. Uh -huh. Alright. Philip, Casey, you guys take care. This is your your base as well as mine. You take care of each other. Learn to love. Hopefully you guys grow into grand beasts. Thank you. Philip, take care of your little brother. Casey, you make sure you listen to your big brother. He knows what's best. I promise. That nah, was a late pick, but it works. Oh, that one's a good one. They're both in it. Oh. <sighs> well. Let's get out of here. Oh! Now, oh, the elevator was there. I thought I missed it. <sighs> hmm. Marvelous. Grand. Amazing. Aim for the stars. But we're going to go past the moon. <laughs> wow. Life support systems online. Ah, oh, Linda, you got a new voice. All right, prepare the time capsule. This is what I was talking about. I didn't find anybody else's, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys. Keep calm. Filter water, some chips, some potato mix, uh, a knife, and a flashlight. It's important. Key survival materials. Image. Mm, gotta put the boys on there, right? Gotta put the boys. Gotta put the boys. <laughs> I'm gonna put my freaking what I say, bro. Come join the family, the cakes on <laughs> YouTube, bro. Oh, that'd be, that'd be dope if I was able to like time capsule ready. A like an actual subscriber to be like, hey, yo, I found your time. That'd be crazy. And they can watch our adventure. Systems active. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, everything downstairs. Whoops. Oops. Hydraulic systems. Pressurizing hydraulics. Controls. Communications systems array active. Flip mode. Right, put everything up.
boosters online. Auxiliary power unit online. All systems are go for lift off. Well, Linda 2.0, I'm ready when you are, baby. <sighs> ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, uh, 7, 6, You, you guys might want to move. <laughs> Caution approaching orbital debris field. No. Not again, please. <laughs> Shield your face. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. There's our little island that we was on. Or around. See, there's something else right there. Confirm Another little island right there. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Actually, that might be the three we've already seen, but Engaging this is where people saw three, two, look one. and be like, what? Ice cap? Below zero, baby. Fully, I'm going to let you come in. And I'm going to let you bring this home. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sands. We are different, but we go together. Love you, Mama. <laughs> it's the end. It's a beautiful story. Again, probably said it throughout this whole series. This is my favorite survival game of all time. I've played a bunch. You know, I've played uh, the forest. I've played Below Zero, I've played um, Stranded Deep, I've played Seven Days to Die, I've played Rust, I've played Ark, I've played... I mean, Minecraft technically is a survival game. Um, I mean, I've played a bunch, and none just, I don't know, hit like Cinematica. It's just so much fun. The world building they did, the story. I mean, sure, it's not perfect. And I'm not even talking about like technical issues like bugs and stuff like that. I'm just saying, like, in general, it's um sure, I mean sure, like it was missing a couple things, like maybe you wish you could do this and this like that, you know. I think every game comes with a wish list, but that's it for that, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, come join the family, come join the gang, and I will see y'all in Below Zero soon-ish. Got some other stuff I want to put out, but Below Zero's on the way. Stay tuned.